flight gear has been updated. So has its website. This might be old news for you, but that doesn't mean it's not time to update an old how-to. Let's install some aircraft for Flight Gear 2.6. Before we start the tutorial, I wanted to say, if you're here to find out how to download aircraft from JIT, skip ahead to 2 minutes and 10 seconds, or click this button right now. So quite a long time ago I uploaded this tutorial. However, the Flightgear website has become more awesome and besides that, the old tutorial doesn't have my voice in it. Is that a good reason to update the tutorial? I don't care, let's just get started. The first step is of course to download the plane you want. Go to the Flightgear website and up in the menu bar select Downloads, Downloads Central. On the Download Central page you'll see multiple links to download aircraft. One for each major release version of Flightgear. Select the version you currently have installed to visit the download page. Once you're there, you can have some fun time scrolling through the page and then make up your mind and decide which aircraft to download. I'm gonna go with the EC-135 helicopter. Now here you see the so-called mirrors. Usually there are three of those and they're basically just three different servers you can download from. It's quite likely that the first one will work fine. But if there's no download starting, you might want to test mirrors 2 and 3. Once the download has finished, find the folder where the download is saved. There you should find a folder that has a name similar to the aircraft's name. If you're running Windows, open up the program files, then browse to flight gear, data and aircraft. Then simply drag the folder you just downloaded into the aircraft folder and you're done. If you're on a Mac, the easiest way to install the downloaded plane is to open up flight gear, going to the Others tab, selecting Install Add-on Data, and then selecting the folder. Now that you know how to install aircraft, let's see how you can download the latest aircraft from Git or JIT or GIT or whatever. JIT sounds kinda cool, let's stick with that. Alright, one little warning though, planes from JIT are likely to be in development. Some planes might not work depending on your version of flight gear or for other reasons. If that's the case, I'd advise you to find a download link on the regular Flight Gear website or finding a link elsewhere. So when you see this list, you can of course enjoy scrolling through the page again, but since that's quite boring without pictures, just find the plane you want to download and click to open this folder. There, click on Snapshot at the top of the screen. The download should now start. After downloading the file, you'll find a tar compressed file with probably a weird name in your downloads folder. On Mac, click on the file to unpack it. I'm not really sure how this works on Windows, but you might need a program like 7-zip for the unpacking. Once it's unpacked, you have to rename the folder to match the folder name in JIT, if your computer didn't do that already automatically. So go back to your browser and look right here to find the correct name. When you're done renaming the file, Installing the plane is just as easy as it would have been if you got it from the regular Flight Gear website. So this is how to download and install planes for newer versions of Flight Gear. I hope you find this tutorial helpful and if you have any further questions be sure to post a comment below and as always I hope to see you back next time for the next Flight Gear how-to episode.